Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Matches of Gathering Chandelar, Modern Edition, where we last left off. I just defeated the evil green wizard. And Mardrick forged under attack by the red wizard. Quite frankly, they're too far away for me to help, so they're dead. However, just straight to the north is the black castle. So I could just go from one castle to another. Oh, dungeon. Which dungeon was that? Mound of the... Something? Ardenos Tomb, maybe? I don't know. That might be Ardenos Tomb. Well, now I'm curious. Hold on. Change my mind. Let's go see what's in this... Oh, yep, there it goes. Let's go see what's in this dungeon. Hello? Memory erosion's in effect? Whenever an opponent casts a spell, I mill through. Well, awesome. Yeah, this is Argonaut's tomb. Okay, so... Treasure-wise, what can I find in here? Mana Crypt would be kind of cool, I guess. Oh, I start off with Dungeon Geist? I'll just be a 3-3 flyer. I won't be having anything to tap down. It's a guy. Just starting off with a guy is helpful. At least there's not a whole lot of dudes in here. That's a lot of dice up in that area. Now, let me go this way and try to wreck their shit first. That's a lot of bonus dice for me to use. Okay. Uh, blue, blue, black, black. Uh, sure. Although my auntie is Neferox, which is scary. But I think just because I can start slapping in right away. And if they cast anything that'll cause a um, the erosion effect, I have Cadaver Imp in my hand. So if they hit a creature I really want, I can use Cadaver Imp just to get them back. Sea Coaster Imp. Um, or I could just cast nothing until I win. No, well, they're down to five. I could have used Crypt Born Horror to actually get a 3-3 trample out right away. I should have done that. Alright, let's start setting up some people here. Mox Jet. Uh, yep. Go straight into Mirror the Cursed, then attack him for lethal. Nice mill plan, nerd. Treasure? Get Dungeon Geist again! Treasure! Treasure! On the Mox Emerald! Okay! Ooh, a Blazing Spectre next to Duel. Uh, let's check behind this lady. Steam Vents, Confiscate, Shadow Mage, yeah. Oh, they're gonna start off with a Mana Vault right away. I saw some people asking why I'm not using stuff like Mana Vault. Uh, it's because the whole life loss carries over effect. It's a pain to deal with. Urkel's Recall return all artifacts to your hand. So yours? So you can recast Mana Vault to cast Umara Raptor? I mean... That... Worked, I suppose. Okay. That does stop my... Blazing Spectre from attacking in. I don't think they would. Yeah. Guess I'll chill. I just confiscate it. Eatern Crab! With landfall? Oh, this causes a mill effect, because of course it does. Can I confiscate you? I'm actually on mana short still. Damn, so expensive. I can't dark ritual into a dungeon geist. Their hand's already empty. So it's whatever. Um, or if I wait one turn, I can confiscate the raptor, which is just a 2-2 two, two for now. Uh, I think I'll just chill. I don't want to cast too much stuff and get myself eroded. But now, however... Dark Ritual? Confiscate. You. 
There we go. Now I can keep wrecking your hand. Oh, I'll let you take damage from the, uh... From the, from the crypt as well. Thank God, freaking graveyard loss doesn't carry over, am I right? Yeah, I'll keep chilling. Uh, Brian, nope. My deck has become so much thicker. I'm actually doing okay. I'm actually going to play Dungeon Geists just so that I can set up a lethal attack for next turn. I'll gladly accept the erosion. That's cool. Oh, Tormod's Crypt exile my graveyard? Those were all my dudes, though. Well, die. Hello? Treasure? <gasps> oh, it's behind a scroll, though. Okay. What is the toughest of an Orchard Elemental? Elementals are usually up there. I would guess at least three, maybe four. A fire elemental's four. Air elemental's four. Water elemental is... Four? Four? Two! What? Wait, what is this card? Council's Dilemma? Holy shit, it's a freaking conspiracy card? I'm gonna get some dice, I'll be right back. I'll be with you in a second. Everyone's so loud and screamy. Get a mock sapphire. Nah. Plus two life. I kind of want a creature to begin with. Plus three life. Well, that's the best I can do. Don't really need life against these enemies. Okay, well, hope for the best here. Um, I did a time walk. I actually don't have ways of attacking. I think I'd rather mulligan. Oh, I still have death grip in this deck. Whoops. All right, well, swamp. Uh, Mox Ruby. Yeah, yeah, Rose. Should I Vampiric Tutor into something right away? Meek Stone. Creatures with power of three or greater don't untap. Uh-oh. Do I have any creatures that have less power than that? Cadaver Imp, baby? Um. Huh. Artifacts and creatures your opponent's control enter the battlefield. Tap. Now if I did play a big boy. Oh, Hypnotic Spectre! Perfect! He'll enter the battlefield tap, but at least he untaps. I can start hitting his hand. Radial Assassin, destroy target, tap the creature. Jesus Christ. Um. This ain't good. Vampiric Tutor. I can grab something. I can also grab Blazing Spectre. But I kind of need that Royal Assassin to be very dead. Murder. Did I not put Terror in this deck? I thought I did. Do murder. Murder? Get back. Did not expect her to get him. There's a siren's call. Uh, mystical sorcerer into something. Or mystical tutor. I don't want. I need a mystical tutor. Something helpful. Not particularly right now. I think the Hypnotic Spectre plan is working out the best. This is Drain Power. Oh, Chasm Skulker. Chasm Skulker's weak enough. For like... A turn. Oh, they don't have any blue mana. That's why they're getting boned here.
Chaz and Skulker will be able to attack like once before it kind of dies. That's fine. Creature's a creature. Another blind obedience. Okay. Uh, attack for four. It'll be a little untap before I draw, so I'd get the untap Chasm Skull for at least. Just game for that damage. Just speed up the clock. That's fine. Again. Okay. Cool. Now your hand's empty. Plays him. Oh, got the Mox Sapphire. Gets to drain me. Uh. Guess I could play Mox Jet. Could try to get something like Cruel to Maiden for a finisher. Or even like Lightning Bolt. Even though I'm not super sure there's a whole lot left in the deck. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah. Time walk. I'll lose some cards. That's fine. This gets me an extra attack with Hypnotic Specter. He's on a four. I'll even Mystical Tutor. What's left in my deck? Confiscate, Dark Sentinel, Ancestral Recall. Uh, nothing in here that's going to help me win. You do Delusion's Mediocrity, though. Gain some life. Oh, it's gotta be instant or sorcery. That's right. Which means it's this one. Bummer. Oh no, I do have the mana for it. Um. Okay, I gotta do this right though. Alright, so you need two blue. 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 You need two red. Red, red, rest black. Okay, I got it. I got it. There we go. Bang. Treasure? Mana Crypt. Should I play this? I mean, two colorless mana a turn is a lot. But also, like, the potential three damage it could cause is pretty devastating when you don't have that much life to begin with. Not super sure I want to play that. My auntie's a Mox Ruby. Oh, that's scary. Alright, well. That Mox Jet out. Mana Vault, Mana Vault. Two Mana Vaults? Did you use your Mana Vault to cast Mana Vault? I think they did. There's Water Elemental. Hey, it's a 5 4, just like I said. Uh. Murder? Yeah, I think I just need to murder that. Five damage can be a lot. Right now, I am banking on Mana Vault killing them. Oh, Coral Barrier! This is the other card that had my, um, Force at 15 deck that, with the Chasm Skull Club, it's good. It's a 1 3 wall. And just comes with this little squiddy guy. Uh, well, lightning bolt, yeah, because I'm scared. Blazing Spectre! Keep your hand. That, that squid actually can't attack in, no problem, because I have an island. But if you ain't got no hand, who cares? I'm sure you're taking an extra two damage every turn just from Mana Vault. He's down to five. Damage, damage. Nope. No, you paid to untap one. Now oh, this works. So I can hit you with the Blazy Spectre, which is down to two, and then just go Lightning Bolt for finisher. <laughs> Treasure? What is the total casting cost of the Utopia Tree? I don't know, man. Four, wrong, two. 
So that was an invasion card. I don't think I've ever seen it before in my life. I should get out of here. Before I, um... I feel like I should get out of here before I some... Uh... <laughs> One of my aunties ends up, like, ruining me. Ancestor recall before it all gets milled! Damn. Throw out the catacombs so I can death grip. For, um, for murder. Bellwar stone. Guess we'll cast Cadaver Imp and see if a, uh, there's a creature in there for me to grab. Got some Skulker and some Dungeon Geists? I like the Dungeon Geist. Nice. Works out. Primal Clay as a... What? Where did the Primal Clay go? Is it dead? Why is there no primal play? What happened? I'm very confused. Um, take that, I guess. Just play out the dungeon, guys. I don't know what's going on with my opponent's hand and deck. Back for four? Leave up mana for lightning bolt and murder? Why aren't you doing anything? You know what? I don't want to ask that. Keep doing nothing. You can quit. Crab doesn't really stop me. I could just confiscate the memory erosion. This belongs to me now. Now you're gonna mill yourself. Granted, you've got a billion card deck, but now I won't be milling myself to death. Was that completely necessary? No. But I outsmarted you. Bzz. Hello? Can I just go around the dragon? Like, is it just easier if I do that? My auntie's a mox jet. That's scary. Go fuck it up, Jared. Alright, so Bloodstained Mire, Mock Sapphire. Chaos. Activate the Bloodstained Mire. Grab Blood Grip. Head into the battle group. Then play Water Grave. Let's into the battlefield tap because I have nothing I can play for three mana. Oh, I got the Shadowman Infiltrator, but. That's only so helpful. Uh, oh, wait, also Chasm Skulker this whole time? Jared, you idiot. Alright, time to snap! Snap, got me. Fucking. I was gonna do the Chasm Skulker, because that's gonna just keep building up to be bigger than he can deal with. At least that's the idea. Let's play out the dungeon guys for nothing. Makor? That's adorable. It's a 3 3 flying Tim? That's a big prodigal sorcerer. Did you block anything here? You would. All right. Just play out the Crypt Horn Horror as a 3-3 three, three Trample, since he blocked the dungeon, guys. You stole my Mock Sapphire, you butt! That's cool. Uh, quick, Delusion Mediocrity. Game 10 life! Bellar Storm, Plunge Storm. Flow of Ideas. Draw a card for each island you control. That's neat. Now you die. Bitch. Hello? Ah, second dragon! 
I already got the Mana Crypt, I already got the Mox Emerald, and the other card in here wasn't even that good. I'm just gonna leave. I don't wanna lose anything to some mulligan that would just be painful to me. I was more worried about that than anything else. Like, what was left in there? Ah, oh, yeah, Fast Bond. Dumb. I don't need that. Well, okay, so where was that death grip? You're not helpful. I guess I could kind of get myself set up to take care of Black. I like the Stark, Stark Deal Sentinel guy. 3-3 three, three Flash Vigilance Indestructible? Yeah, we will work with that. I thought I picked up a Terror at some point. Was I mistaken? Probably. Jared, idiot. Yep, seems to be the case. That's fine. Um, don't really have any good anti-black cards. Right? Yeah, I don't think I really do. I also have no idea what the black deck's gonna be like. Could be really scary. Well, I'll look at this. If I can find something that I think would really shut down a black deck playing Grixis, like I'm not going to look in, switching over to white or anything like that right beforehand, but white usually has a lot of anti-black stuff in there. As does green, but this is okay. This will be one of the, I think this will be one of the harder ones for me to deal with, but I should feel all right. I should do all right, but hey, that was a good dungeon run. Got the cards I wanted. As always, Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.